On today's episode of How To's at Ear and Hearing, we'll be looking at how to change the batteries on your receiver in the canal or behind the ear hearing aids. So whether you're a new user or an experienced user who just needs a refresher, this is a great video for you. Hearing aid batteries last anywhere from 5 to 10 days. This will vary depending on the type of hearing aid you have, the hearing aid battery, as well as the severity of your hearing loss. If you do find that the hearing aids are only lasting a few hours or a few days, you may want to consult with your audiologist. In this video, we'll be looking at the three most common hearing aid batteries, the size 10, size 312, and the size 13. There is also another model, the 675, but you're able to use these same techniques and methods to change those batteries as well. So starting with the 312 battery, you want to be looking at the hearing aid. At the bottom, there is a little lip over here. You're able to put your fingernail under that lip and pry open. With the battery, you can see that the flat side has to be facing up and the round side is facing down. You want to be taking the old battery, pulling it out and throwing it away. If you do find it quite hard to insert and remove the batteries, most audiologists will provide you with an extra tool, one of these cleaning tools. And on the tip of the cleaning tool, you'll see a small magnet. So you're able to take the magnet, hold the door open and peel that battery out. You can also do the same in inserting it. I found that those magnets aren't as strong as I'd like them to be because they are quite small, but there is an additional tool that they can provide, which is slightly bigger. So that has a nicer hold onto the battery and you can pull it straight out. So once you remove the battery, you want to be taking a new pack of batteries. These are the size 312. You can see that on the batteries themselves. Turn it around, peel open the flap, and you can pop out one of the batteries. The 312 sticker is stuck to the flat side of the battery. So what I like to do is take the battery with the sticker facing up. So the flat side is facing up, holding on to the battery and peeling. So this way you always know that the flat side is facing up. Once you've done that, it should be just as easy as closing the battery door. If you do get the battery in the wrong direction so that the round side is facing up, the battery door will not close. Please do not force this any further, otherwise it will break the battery door. Once again, for the size 10 battery, it's the same operation. Peeling off the back door, popping out one of the hearing aid batteries, taking your size 10 battery hearing aid, popping it out, and you can take your new hearing aid battery place it inside the compartment and peel. Wait for a few seconds and now you can close the battery door. Once again, the same operation, even for a size 13 battery, you wanna be opening the battery door, taking a size 13 battery, opening the flap and dropping a new battery out placing it inside the compartment, closing it a little bit more, and peeling off the sticker. So whenever you change a hearing aid battery, you always want to be double checking that the hearing aids are working. Most hearing aids will give you a startup chime or beep to indicate that the hearing aids have now restarted. Another great way of checking whether it has started or not is when it's on top of your ear just give it a brush on top of the microphones. This will help you to tell whether the hearing aids are working or not. So thank you so much for watching this episode of How To's at Ear and Hearing, and I'll see you on the next video.